The special counsel investigating Hunter Biden has filed nine federal tax related charges against the president's son. This comes as Hunter Biden engaged in a four year scheme to cheat the government out of millions of dollars in federal taxes. ABC's Pierre Thomas has the latest. Today, Hunter Biden wakes up facing a nine count federal indictment, six misdemeanors and three felony charges. Special counsel David Weiss accusing the president's son of failing to pay $1.4 million in taxes from 2016 to 2019. All done, according to Weiss, at a time when Biden was living an extravagant lifestyle. Prosecutors claim Biden spent his money on drugs, escorts and girlfriends, luxury hotels and rental properties, exotic cars, clothing, in short, everything but his taxes. Those expenses include more than $600,000 in payments to various women, another $397,000 on clothing and accessories, and more than $180,000 on adult entertainment, including porn. Hunter Biden admitted many of his shortcomings in his recent memoir, tying many of his poor decisions to a crack cocaine addiction that had gone out of control. I went one time for 13 days without sleeping and smoking crack and drinking vodka exclusively throughout that entire time. According to the special counsel, Hunter Biden earned millions of dollars from foreign entities in Ukraine, Romania, and China, noting that his expenditures increased as his income increased, leading him to spend, quote, wildly. His business dealings and personal failings have become fodder for Republicans seeking to harm his father, the president, politically and House Republicans have launched impeachment proceedings against President Biden, focusing on Hunter, but thus far without any evidence of wrongdoing by the president. Hunter Biden is a private citizen, and this was a personal matter for him. As we have said, the president, the first lady, they love their son, and they support him as he continues to rebuild his life. The president steadfastly supportive. I'm very proud of my son. The indictment is the latest consequence of Hunter Biden's plea deal falling apart this past summer. Under that deal, the Justice Department agreed not to prosecute a gun charge, and Hunter Biden would plead guilty to two misdemeanor tax violations. After the deal disintegrated, Weiss, the U.S. attorney from Delaware appointed by President Trump, indicted Biden on the gun charge in September, and last night he made good on his threat to pursue tax charges. But this morning, Hunter Biden's attorneys are pushing back, noting that he has paid back all of his taxes and penalties and has battled back from his crack cocaine addiction.